Welcome back to another episode of Happy Go Lucky Beho Reviews. When I was growing up in the arcades in the early 90s, there were three types of games that pretty much dominated everyone's quarters. They were the gun shooting games, the racing games that are pretty much still popular today, and the one genre that faded out in the arcades but ruled with an iron fist during that time was fighting games. Enter Street Fighter 2. This was the game of choice. I would only play other games waiting for my turn in Street Fighter. There are so many Me Too games that saturate the arcades, but no other company would take on Capcom and their Street Fighter than SNK and the Neo Geo. SNK's Neo Geo was the only true competitor with releases like World Heroes, Fiddle Fury, and The Art of Fighting. They were great diversions, but never really challenged Street Fighter for its crown. All in all, SNK would truly never beat Capcom at their fighters, but their intense competition is what pushed Capcom in increasing their efforts to stay on top. Innovation was the best thing gamers could get during this era. You hear that, EA, and your domination with Madden? Boy, do I miss NFL 2K. One great innovation in this 2D era of fighting was adding weapons, and SNK was touted in having one of the best fighting games ever developed, Samurai Showdown. This was pure greatness and something so different that people actually took a look away from Street Fighter, even if it was just for a couple of months. Game of the Year in gaming publications, SNK truly upped the ante with what was possible. Today, we look at the reboot of sorts of Samurai Showdown, released on the PC, Xbox One, PS4, and the arcades in Japan. Samurai Showdown took the success of Street Fighter 4 and 5, used with 3D characters, but fighting in 2D gameplay. Basically, an old game with a lot better graphics, and boy, do they look great. The detail also reveals animated works of art coming to life. The look and feel of the characters are just right. My favorite character I had to use was Charlotte. Nothing against the rest, but I love that laugh when she would win. So disrespectful. <laughs> Feeling just like the original Samurai Showdown, the controls are extremely tight and the moves come off with ease. There is a combo system added with supers that can literally bring back an opponent near death to having a comeback for the ages. Characters range from the original to the fourth installation. One knock on this game would be the lack of more modes. You have the story and the versus modes. That's about it. This game could have been so much more, but you are pretty much treated with nostalgia without any true innovations. Although Street Fighter V is much of the same, there are also many ways to play the game in defense, offense, parries, combos, supers, and the free DLC and updates to this day and so on that Capcom has really come through. Capcom really wanted you to keep coming back I was able to finish the reboot of Samurai Showdown doing the exact same thing I did in a... Not to say that I didn't love the old games making their return in glorious HD with the newest tech, but we need more in today's era. Although a great diversion, I still see myself going back to Street Fighter V. This game is a solid 7.5 out of 10. That's it for me today on Happy Go Lucky Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like what you saw. Beho out, and Greg, take us out of here. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.